I'm really concerned about our sledge turret hitting a, a demolisher because the no-no button on the demolisher is on the right side of their chest, right where that's going to hit them. So if that happens, well, uh, we're going to have some pretty fun fireworks. Okay, let's take one of these now. We will save the other one. And if it looks like we're going to be breached, we do this. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get uh, ready for Horde Night. And uh, depending upon how our time goes, start moving stuff over uh, to our new location. So um, before we get started with that, I, I need, we, we need to have one of, one of those talks again. <laughs> so here's the thing, all right? I know this, this happens, you know, once every, every three, four months or something, but somebody leaves a comment on my channel uh, saying that I'm not playing the right way or in this particular case i could be playing more efficiently and i should go watch so and so and see how they're doing it blah 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 here's the thing guys i play this game the way i play this game i enjoy the way i play this game i don't care if the way that i play this game is not 100 percent efficient that doesn't matter to me what matters to me is that i have fun uh playing the game i enjoy and that i enjoy it and that you guys as my audience enjoy watching the way that i play this game and that isn't going to change OK, so here and, you know, if you're going to leave a comment and make, you know, make a suggestion, make sure that that suggestion is respectful and open handed. As soon as you start sounding condescending, I'm going to shut you down because I just don't have time uh, to deal with that. And I'm not going to deal with that. Um, ain't nobody got time for that, man. That's really what it boils down to. So. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we're probably going to have to keep having these conversations every now and then. But, you know, I know for a fact um, based upon a poll that we took not too long ago, that the vast majority of you love the way that I play this game, uh, obviously, because you probably wouldn't keep watching. So, you know, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. That's really the bottom line. OK, offer suggestions. Feel free to offer suggestions. If you offer me a suggestion and I like that suggestion, I will thank you for it and I will implement it. Um, is so it's not that I'm not open to improvement in some ways, but, you know, it, it's your approach that matters to me. And at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm playing this game the way I'm playing it. I don't care if it's efficient or not. It's fun. That's what really matters. OK, um, so now that we got that out of the way, I wish I didn't have to have these conversations, but sometimes we have to have them. And that's just the way that it is. Uh, OK, so enough said about that. The plan that I want to do for today is I originally wanted to try and get all my stuff moved before the Horde Night over to the Deshong Tower but I don't think that's a practical thing for us to accomplish today, especially since I'm still sporting a broken leg. I think what we need to do is we need to prepare our area for the Horde Night. And, you know, if, uh, you know, if things go south on us, I'm just going to leave this building because as long as I'm not here, the Horde's not going to tear into our building here or, you know, cause any problems. And in fact, what it might even do is reinforce this and put a, a door here excuse me, um, so that they don't even go that way at all. And so uh, I think that's what we're, we're going to do. Now we do have, you know, a few things up here, but, um, I, you know, we're just going to, we're just going to try it and see how it goes. What I really need to, to do though is I need an escape plan. I need to be able to get from here safely over to there if, you know, if this fails. Um, and I don't really have a solution for that. I mean, I can't obviously go down the ladder this way because that's where the horde's going to be coming at, at us. Um, so maybe, maybe the answer is we do another bail drop. Uh, you know, since I still have some bales left over to get over there if, if things, you know, really go south on us. I just need to get, if I can get to that ladder there, then I can jump up there. I can jump up there and then get in our little um, fallback location there. Uh, which, you know, depending upon, you know, at what point during the Horde night the breach occurs, that should hold up for the rest of the night. If it doesn't, we still also have the option of, of the garage, too, as a secondary uh, or I guess a third fallback location if we absolutely, you know, if, if this failed, too. I'd be very surprised if, if this failed unless, you know, we, we were there from the very start of the Horde night. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking and uh, so that's what we're going to try and accomplish. Now, we're, what we have to do, though, is we have to reinforce the, the spots that are going to take 
uh, the most, uh, you know, the most damage, uh, which means we need concrete and steel. So let's take a look. Ah, that stupid broken leg. Let's take a look and see uh, what our options are for that currently. Uh, I did get a bunch of iron in the last episode. Oh, yeah, we got lots of iron there. Very good. So we can turn a bunch of that into steel. In fact, we have quite a few steel ingots, too. Well, I wouldn't say quite a few, but, um, you know, we have a decent amount of those things, too. Um, and then for concrete, what do we have for concrete? We have 289, so that's, yeah, okay. Well, we don't really need to do concrete work. I just, mostly I need the concrete for repairing. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I'm trying to figure out uh, the best approach here. So let's do this. Let's turn a very large portion of our iron into steel. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to pull that out of there. Um, so if we go to here, let's just put some some of that in there. Uh, steel ingots. We got lots of coal powder. We got lots of iron. What's the max we can make? 221. Okay. I don't want to burn up every last piece of iron I have because I don't know if I'm going to have time to go mining today. So let's just do 200 of these. And that still leaves us a little bit of iron left over uh, should we need that for something else. Now, we already have 51 steel ingots, so let's start converting those uh, to plates, because that's what we need to upgrade the blocks. Um, yeah, okay, so let's craft those into plates. We'll get that going. Um, do I have any more of these? I only have the one there. What do we need to make more of the, the clay or, or the bricks? Yeah, we're, we're really low on the bricks themselves. How many more of these can I make? Two more? Okay. So let's let's make a couple more of those, and then I got a couple things to, to, to put away here. Put that stuff in there. I'm trying not to run, but on the other hand, I'm also trying to to hurry because I want to I want to make sure we're ready to go. We do have the whole day, so there is that. But you know, this could take a while for us to completely get everything ready the way that I would like it to be ready. So, uh, you know, actually, you know what? Maybe a better option for us, you know, broken legged notwithstanding, is we just use oh shits. Yeah, that's gonna make things way easier, isn't it? Okay, so here's the deal. Let's um de wait a minute. Did I oh that's right, I used my oh shits. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we need to find some oh shits. If I can find some oh shits, we can just bail off the side of the building. I might even be able to uh, make the jump across to the other side. Um, let's look at that again. I, oh, I'm so tempted to sprint right now, but I can't. If we... If we got a good enough run, we could probably make that jump just from here. Uh, I'll bet you we could. Okay, so, yeah, that's... We gotta find some oh shits. In fact, what? Why don't we... Yeah, why don't we uh, go look for that now while we're waiting for all this stuff to process? How much longer are you going to be? You, well, three more minutes. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's run on down, uh, check a couple vending machines. Do I have money? I, oop, I'm glad I decided to check that. I just put the money away, which is funny because that's what prompted me to then go the oh shits route. That sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? If you guys didn't, uh, if you heard that without knowing the whole context of it, you're probably going, what in the world is he talking about? All right. Can we sprint down the ladder without hurting ourselves? I think so. All right. We got to find um, some vending machines. I'd like to have at least two. Oh, shits, if we can find them because... I've got a bad feeling about this. Because um, uh, I want to test one, and then I want to have one for the actual Horde Knight. Is there, I think there might be a vending machine in here. I haven't been in here for a while, so I'm sure we got repops. Yeah, case in point, right? Okay, so let's... Oh, how did I leave that passing gas up there? I left it up there. Wow, we need to check that thing. All right, I think, isn't there a vending machine in here? Oh, maybe there... Maybe there was, and I... I took it apart. Hey, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this, though, man. Okay. Uh, can I reach that from here? I think I can. I oh, know I shouldn't be jumping. Okay, we'll turn that into scrap. Is 
Is that vending machine out here? Maybe there isn't one around here. Okay, well let's just let's just go to where we know there are some vending machines. Uh, in fact, I have a few, I believe, that I've even marked on the map. So let's look at that. Uh, yeah, there's a vending machine there, and really, that's it? Could have sworn we had more than that. Okay, well... Uh, I, and we can always go to the trader too, I suppose. So let's go check that vending machine and we'll check the one at the trader. The one at the bottom of the Deshong here is defunct, so we can't use that. It's quite possible that there's some more nearby, but I don't want to spend an inordinate amount of time looking for them, you know? Kind of quickly peeking over uh, to see if I can s just spot one. Usually, if I find one that you know is defunct, I take it apart because you get nice parts off of it. But not in every case, of course. There might be actually, yeah. Let's go look in front of this passing gas. I see an ice machine and a zombo dog. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just go to the one that's marked and go to the trader. As long as we can get two of those candies, that's all I, I'm interested in right now. We do, oh, you know what? We do have one towards the top floor of um, of the Deshong, too, now that I think about it, that does work. Okay, so uh, if I recall right, this one's going to be, oh, shit, it's going to be in here. My senses have picked up something. Get out of my face. Now we're banged up even more. Lovely. Okay, what's the matter? We're, we're fatigued, so we need a vitamin. I guess that's all that's wrong with us. Well, there's all, all kinds of things wrong with us, but that's beside the point. Okay. Man, the lag is real today. I believe we found... Oh, shit. Found the vending machine around this corner. Careful, Roberta, I just about shot you. <clears throat> Where the hell did I mark that vending machine? Oh, I guess it's over this way. It is in here, right? Wait a minute, am I even in the right place? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even in the right place. Oh, for the love of Pete. Can't take me anywhere. There's some inefficient gameplay for you, and it was as funny as hell, too, and you all enjoyed it. Just admit it. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Let's go over here. And, uh... Oh, so is this at the... Incoming the enemies. oil company? Prepare for conflict. Is that ball sack? I don't know why I assumed it was just inside the clothing store. I thought I vaguely remember seeing one in there, but maybe I did and I ended up taking it apart or something. Uh, we got a puppy. Where are you? We disintegrated him. Uh, you know what? We should probably get a little more health back. 
you think? We'll eat that, and we'll take that. And while we're at it, let's just drink this, too, because we are a little bit thirsty. Okay. And we don't have time to be doing this. Where the... the hell was that thing at? Okay, hold on. Look at the map again. It's inside here. Says it's over that way. And let's just open this door real quick. Since there's a zombo out there, I'm trying to avoid them because A, I'm hurt. Uh, I don't want to increase my broken leg duration. And B, I don't have time for this shit, man. We got to get ready for Fortnite. <laughs> you know, ammo's another consideration too, man. Are we going to have enough ammo to do this? We'll see. No, oh shit, drops. All right, you know what, though? We're going to buy those. We're going to buy and eat one of those. Um, we're going to buy the hackers, the soup stock, and the chicken soup. We don't need the pears or any of the rest of that. Okay, shoot. We didn't have any uh, oh shits in there. So let's go check the trader next. Okay, come on, oh shits. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Just what we needed is two. All right, let's grab an eye candy while we're here. We'll grab this, we'll grab that, and that. Hackers, those, covert cats. We don't really need any more jailbreakers. And let's grab one of those because I want one right now. It'll actually give us some more healing, too. Um, now, nah, let's not mess with the trader. Okay, perfect. So we got the two O shit straps. We have one that we're going to use to test, and then one that we're going to use for the real deal. And that way I don't have to try and build an escape route. Even if I miss the jump and land on the ground, I still have a way to get back up into that building relatively quickly, as long as we can do it without getting stunned. And I could pop a, a fort bite to help with that. So I think we're we got that part of the equation taken care of. All right, let's get back to the base. Okay, so we got the steel finished here. Let's put that in here. And I think we're probably going to want to just turn all of that into uh, the, the steel plating. Yeah, so that requires steel plating. That will require steel plating. What does, um, what do you require? Oh, you probably need a repair kit, but you're actually in pretty good shape anyways. The zombies generally won't attack this, but what they, what might, ooh, I wonder if we, ooh, I just thought of something. What if we get a demolisher? <laughs> I haven't seen one yet, but that doesn't mean one isn't going to come. That could be a problem. Well, all right, we'll just, <laughs> we'll risk it. Is that wise? No. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. Okay. So I can't, I can't really effectively test the oh shits until our leg heals up. So let's go ahead and uh, get to repairing and upgrading this little section here. Oh, you know, the other thing we got to do too, yeah, I know, don't run, is we got to get some ammo going because we're probably going to use the M60 and the shotgun as our two main weapons. And um, so, yeah, we need to get some ammo making up here. So we got plenty of resources. Well, we've got plenty of bullets and casings. How are we doing on gunpowder? Um, the ballistics table's up here. So we're basically looking at uh, 762 rounds. Oh, we got lots of gunpowder. Okay. So I don't think we want to... Is, is this actually 500 or is that coming more? It is 500. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think... We're going to need to use the M60 somewhat sparingly because it'll just chew through the ammo like a mother otherwise. So let's make 700 more rounds for that. Plus we have 347 in here. And then I'm just going to 
Uh, I guess we could turn the rest into shotgun shells. Uh, the rest of the gunpowder. We could probably actually make some more gunpowder, though, too, now. Think about it, right? Can we? Gunpowder. Um, that's made in here. Yeah, let's get let's get some more gunpowder cooking up, too. That's going to take five some odd minutes, so we'll just put another one of those in there. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got ammo making up. We got gunpowder making up for more ammo later on. This particular design that we're going to try here is not conducive to explosives, so we don't need to make pipe bombs uh, for that. Um, so now it's, yeah, grab steel plates and get started upgrading. Um, so you... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Okay, start making a whole buttload of those. Give me these. And I need to put a couple things away. Let's put the extra bales in here. And we'll put that in there for now. We want to keep the concrete with us. Do I have... I can make a little bit more concrete. We might have... We might want to try and actually cook up some cement... Um, but that requires sand too, but we do have a decent amount of sand. Let's grab this sand here and queue up some cement also. Okay, so that requires 13 minutes. We have seven more minutes of burn time left. We now have 13, 18, 25. There we go. Close enough. Okay, good. So we can make a little more concrete too as needed. Let's see. We got a couple more things to drop off here. I'm just trying to lighten my own inventory as best as I can so I can carry more of the steel and stuff. We don't need the money now. Let's put that away. Oil can go up here. And the gas can go up there. We have a few pipe bombs in there. And the rest of this needs to go up to the food, the food section. I know. Yeah, hurting. Yeah, we're hurting. Okay, put that stuff in there. Put all of this stuff in here. I want to keep these with me for the end loot at the end of the night. We want to keep the oh shits with us. Uh, I want some fort bites. We already got steroids, vitamins. Since we're really low on bandages, uh, we're going to have to rely on painkillers for healing. Uh, recog actually would probably be very useful to us. And we better have a few more of those because God knows I'm very good at breaking my leg. And some health bars. Okay. I I think I may have already eaten a health bar for the, for my splinted leg uh, in the last episode or, or right after I let you guys go in the last episode. So I'm, let's not waste another one on that. Super. Super duper. Okay. Let's go back down here and grab whatever steel plating we currently can get out of here and grab whatever cement we can currently get out of here and let's head on over here and start upgrading now i i freely admit that this may not work at all this might fail miserably but we're going to try it because you know as i've mentioned before it works exceedingly well for you know the smaller hordes that come up after us uh, but, you know, that's not a, a Blood Moon Horde, though, either. So we'll just have to kind of play it by ear. But everything in this upper area, I want upgraded to uh, to steel. And we have to also be cognizant of the fact that we could get demolishers. And if that happens, then we could most definitely be in trouble. We also have the option of using our sledgehammer, too, because, you know, this is a good melee setup. So, you know, we have a few options for, uh, you know, for killing the Zeeks. Okay, let's get that upgraded. It's not letting me hit this right on the very edge. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so now I guess the question is how far... I know, I'm sorry. Here, let's get all this upgraded to steel, too. More for demolisher reasons than any other reason. Okay.
Uh, how do I get back up here? <laughs> Guess we'll have to put a block down. That's actually probably a good thing that I can't immediately get up there because that means the Zeke's good too. Oh. Okay, this might be interesting. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's just hop onto the ladder. There we go. Okay. Let's go grab some more steel. Don't run. You have two minutes and 32 seconds left on the broken leg. You're making cement. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a... <laughs> uh, we don't have a lot, you guys. We don't have a lot. We need to save some for repairs, too. So, I've... Hmm... <clears throat> I might, if I have time, maybe I will do a little bit more mining before the Horde Night starts. What is absolutely 110% critical here for to upgrade? These are steel bars here. Um, probably that and that. And probably these. Again, because of demolisher explosions. These we could probably leave concrete because they don't have any direct, uh, you know, contact with the Zekers. That's, that needs actually iron to repair, but we, you know, this is really critical that we keep that thing repaired too. So I think that's all I'm going to do for upgrading. Um, no, I take that back. We better get these upgraded to steel too well actually more specifically these that these bars are on because those that's just normal concrete and i should have darn it i should have done those that's right we're, we're, we'll make um hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to do a little more mining and make a few more uh steel plating uh well we're gonna need to now because i gotta have it for oh man what i'm trying to say i have to have it for repairs so uh, we're going to turn all the rest of this iron into... Oh, you know what? We've got a lot of scrap iron, too. Let's not burn all of that, but let's turn 120 of that into there, and then we're going to... Oh, now we're out of coal. Can I stop some of that gunpowder before it's all used up? Nope, it's too late. <laughs> Crap, now we got to get coal, too. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just the way things go, right? It's just the way things go. Okay. Um, well, okay, since we have some more gunpowder, I guess let's use that to make some more ammunition. I think I want to continue favoring 762, so let's just make a crap ton more of that. And we'll put this remaining stuff in there. And yeah, we might... Crap, we not, might have to go hit some coal now. Okay, well... We, we should actually have time to do that because you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot more I, I want to do at this point. Um, we did, we did kind of want to reinforce this, but here again, I mean, if we get breached, I'm going that way. And so there's no reason at all for the Zombos to come through here to do anything. Uh, 10 seconds left on the leg and then we're gonna then we're gonna test the, oh shit drops so yeah I think that's the thing we got to do we I gotta get some more iron mined so that I can um, reinforce those two blocks and then have steel for repairing during the horde night itself I'm really concerned about our sledge turret hitting a, a demolisher because the no-no button on the demolisher is on the right side of their chest right where that's going to hit them so if that happens, well, uh, we're going to have some pretty fun fireworks. Okay, let's take one of these now. We will save the other one. And if it looks like we're going to be breached, we do this. Okay, and then we run up here really quick. And we run up here really quick. And we run up here really quick. And we go into our fallback little bunker here. And I do have I do have a few pipe bombs that we can could still you know drop on their head if they congregate down there. This I should probably upgrade so I don't accidentally pick it up. And then if this 
if it looks like this building's gonna fail, you know, then we just... I mean, we don't... We probably will just do this and come down here. Now, I never did reinforce this after the last Horde Knight. At least I don't think I did. Or did I? Maybe I did. Did I? Uh, Yeah, it looks like I did repair things. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because all of this stuff was, was, you know, pretty torn up. Well, I, I let me put it this way. I repaired what was there, but there are some missing blocks. But you know what? This is our third point of fallback. So if uh, if we have to come here, most likely, you know, it's going to be a lot later in the night because the other two places are going to hold up for, for some time anyway. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I think that's about all we can do until I can get some more um, iron and steel going. So I think I'm going to cut the camera here. And I'm going to go down into the mine and just mine a bunch more iron. And then it's, it, it's 11.53, so we still have the whole entire afternoon left to us. And then I'll bring you back at some point later on uh, today, before the Horde Night starts, to show you kind of the final preparations. And But most likely we won't actually start the Horde Night until the next episode because we, we won't have enough time to do that. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I went and mined up some iron, and then I went uh, ran into the forest and mined up some coal. And so let's make our final preparations here now. Um, how many of these can we make? One? Okay, let's make a gumbo stew because gumbo stew, right? Uh, we got that going. What else can we make that's really good? We can make more shepherd's pie. How many? Three, right? Onzers, we'll make three of those. Uh, we're not making steak and potatoes because we're trying to save our mushrooms for now. I don't have very many of those. And we can make some meat stews. How many of those can we make? Oh, a whole bunch. Okay. What about hobo stews? We could actually make a bunch of those. Those are better than meat stews. Uh, but we just have to go get some gross meat. I try not to think, think about that too much. <laughs> <laughs> make it hobo stew. Uh, all right, let's knock out ten of those, and that'll give us some some good food. Uh, let's have the shepherd's pie right now. Um, actually, hold on a sec. Yeah, we do need to eat. Which one of these gives us the most healing? That gives uh, 52, 56. All right, we'll save the gumbo for a healing option on Horde Night, and we have um, you know, we have these coming in too, so we'll be fine with the food. Let's put all this stuff in here. Uh, all right, now let's go back down here. I got a whole bunch of uh, coal powder cooking up in here. Let's grab what's currently done and take it down here with us. I actually had some more coal powder too, but I went, I just went out and got more because, you know, we need it. And, okay, so you're making iron and steel. Uh, you're currently done making steel. So let's make more steel. I can make a total of 153. Um, how about if we make 100 for the moment? And we could still smelt some more iron from that scrap. I don't need 196 scrap. So we could do a total of 19. Let's do another 10. No, I said 10. Very good. Okay, now let's take uh, the steel that we currently have. Uh, we got all those iron ingots, and let's make some more plating. We make 36 more of those. Beautiful. All right, let's check our ammunition. Um, and I also need to make, I should make a few more repair kits. I only have three. Uh, we're going to be using this and this primarily on the Horde Knight. We might use the... Well, probably not, but we'll also be using the Sledgehammer. So we, we're going to need repair kits for those uh, because I don't have a high enough workstation yet to repair those. We are working towards that. It'll happen eventually. Um, what am I doing? Oh, we're getting ammo. Okay, so let's load up on all of that ammo there. And that gives us 1, 1,164 rounds of 7.62 plus 85 in the magazine. So 
you know, I'm not going to go batshit crazy with this ammo. We get, we have to be still be somewhat conservative, but you know, we have enough to to get the job done. I think. Looks like I have some sand down in my hot bar, so we want to put that back in here. Um, no, in here. And we have 544 concrete mix in there, plus another 310 in there. So 854. That's plenty of concrete. That does make us actually a little bit on the heavy side. So why don't we put half of? We're not gonna need nowhere near that much concrete. So let's let's uh, actually only take about a quarter of that. Okay. Um, I didn't look to see if I have stuff to make more bandages. It's yeah. See the aloe is the stopping point there. I don't. Can I make the big bandage now? I can't remember if I can. No, we still don't have that doggone thing learned. Crap. Okay. Uh, I can make the small bandages, but I don't have an, any aloe for that, or aloe cream. If I did, they would be in there. So we're just going to have... Uh, we got three bandages. <laughs> we got three bandages here. We do have a bunch of painkillers, but the problem with the painkillers is we can't... You know, we can't take them one after the other. So we're just going to have to be really careful, um, you know, as we can be, for the duration of the Horde Night. And so, yeah, I... Think, oh, we, we want these on. We definitely want the nerdies on, so we get the XP. Though this isn't going to be a mass massive XP farming sesh tonight. Uh, it's, it's just not going to happen. This is about survival more than anything. And, you know, just seeing how well our little design down there actually holds up. Let's go get whatever steel plates are ready to go. And I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to make a few more repair kits. So how many can I make? Four. Um, let's make, let's make two more. Okay. And let's see, you have steel and iron in there. Let's put all you guys in there, and that gives us another hundred steel ingots. So let's make some more plating out of that. We're going to do a, just a couple more block upgrades, and then we need to hang on to the rest of that steel for repairs. And I'm probably forgetting something, but I don't know what it is. Okay, what time is it? It's 20... It's 8 o'clock, so we have two hours left before the fun starts. Alright, so I wanted to upgrade that to steel. And I wanted to get these two... Here, let's get on the ladder. It's going to make it a little easier and safer. Wanted to get these to, or that block there. Okay, we already got the other one. So, I think that's good, right? Wait a minute. What? Oh, no, the, they're, oh, crap, they're above that block. Um... Uh, I wish I would have paid a little more attention to that, but uh, wait a minute. What the heck am I doing? What am I doing? Right. I'm I'm hesitant to upgrade. Wait, maybe. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just do one of those blocks. I just don't have a comfortable level of plating for repairs for the night. Uh, that's a little bit on the low side. What are you doing again? You're not doing anything but causing heat. Uh, we don't want to use any more of that up. Yeah, we can make. Uh, yeah, we can make more steel ingots. Um, but I didn't want to burn all my iron, so let's let's make forty more of these. Okay. And let's see, we got the extra repair kits in here. And I think we're just about as prepared as we can be. I'm going to put the oh shit drops down here on the toolbar. And again, if things go south on us, the plan is to jump down there, go up the ladder, go into our, our first fallback. And if, if it looks like that's going to be compromised, then we jump over to the garage. That's the plan. How well it's going to work. Well, we won't know until 
<laughs> Until it happens. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's... Why can I not see that block? Oh, there. Okay, yeah, because it's over there. All right. Let's just hit that one. And I don't want to give up any more steel right now for upgrades because we need it for repairing. But we, we did get that one at least. Okay. I'm going to have to be ultra careful here. Uh, I wonder if I could put... I wonder if I could put, like, some wood rails on, on top of this. Wait a second. Is that... Yeah, that's facing up, so... My senses have picked up something. You're a little bit early for the party there, buddy. Um... I wonder if I could put some wood rails on the end of that, just so I don't go barreling off the edge, especially when we get lag. So let's go here, and let's go to... Where do we find rails? Rails. Uh, okay. More company. Hey, what happened? Oh, he fell all the way down. Okay. Um, okay. Think, 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 think. We could... Yeah, what if we... Did something like... Dumbass. Okay. That guy keeps interrupting me. If we put this corner piece up on top... Oh, we can't put anything on top, right, because they're facing upwards. Right, okay, so that means if what we're going to have to do is... Let's just go with a regular wood frames railing, wood frames bars. I don't think it really matters a whole lot which one we use. But we want to try and get this to... Incoming go enemies. on the Prepare edge for of that. the hell out of here. Alright. Maybe if we get out here. No, we can't really reach it very well from there either, can we? Try to get it to stick on the very outside edge of, of that bar there, which it should be able to do. Oh man, this is precarious. Okay. Uh, go this way. There we go. Okay. And then, can I get you to stick there? Perfect. Okay, and that's going to just... You know, in case I get a little bit of lag, at least I'm not going to go barreling off that direction. Now, we need to keep... I want to keep this open so I can shoot... Through. Well, actually, we're doing a rail. We should be able to do that, too. Because we can shoot through all that stuff. You know, if I'm going to do that, actually, I think I'd rather have bars. Because the bars have less... Um, things, you know, uh, rails... Or we could even go... Can we shoot through these? I can't remember if we can or not. And let's, let's just go with this, because I know we can shoot through these. Okay, so we want to go... Um, copy rotation. And we'll put... Oh, what? No, I said copy rotation. There. And then pick this one up. Okay, we want this one to go this direction. And then over here we can go... Uh, why are you doing this to me? There and there. Okay. And then what do you need to upgrade? Oh, crap. It's almost hard night. Uh, wood planks. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> we're cutting it close, man. We're cutting it close. Ah, uh, no, we're fine. 
I'm just going to upgrade these to wood for now because I can't afford to use iron. Is this thing in place? Yes, it is. Now, if we get hit by a cop or something, cop spit, which we could, that might not go well for those rails, but this part's steel, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, you guys. Um, hate to do this to you, but we are out of time for this episode, so I'm going to actually pause the game here. Uh, so I'm going to basically stop this recording and start the next one, and that'll be the very beginning of the next episode, and we'll see how this works out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, to share the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.